You want to try the pump cam? Riding in Cali was fun, but the carless roads of Westport, Ontario are a winner. Just dead quiet here. Dead, dead, dead quiet. If you'd asked me a few months ago what was most important to me about training roads, I would have said terrain. I love mountainous terrain. Anything that goes up, I absolutely love. But the more places I ride, the more I value quiet roads, peaceful, like relaxed areas. Canada is by no means flat, but it has none of the massive climbs that I truly love. But there's just no cars. I never thought I'd say this, but I think flat, quiet terrain outranks busy hills. I still love the mountains, but I love that peace and quiet in the mountains more than anything else. And if I can't have it in the mountains, I'd take it on the flat roads any day. I mean, just look at this. Westport's a really small town, but it's a really cool town. It's like on the Great Rideau Lake. It's on the Rideau Lake. There's like all these canals that link up to it. There's all these like locks between all the canals. You can get like all the way from Kingston, which is a city like 45 minutes away, to like Ottawa, which is an hour and a half away. And you can do that all on the canals. How rad is that? This is Chafee's lock behind me, one of the many locks on the Rideau Canal. It's all like, still old school. It's still winch operated. Westport is that way, Kingston is that way. It is impressively watertight. I mean, that's not that much water coming through. There's Kingston. I'm at Chafee's Lock here. I rode through Newborough. There's Westport. And you can go all the way up to Ottawa, which is 202 Ks. 202 Ks of waterway, 47 locks. That's insanely impressive. And this is the lower side. That's Chafee's lock. I am pretty fond of Canada. I'm a big fan of the friendly culture and the pancakes and the maple syrup. The only two true drawbacks are the winter and the frost cracked roads. Do you want to go and have a green juice down by the lake? Sure. Ooh, that's good. It looks so cool inside. I know. I took a few photos of it. GoPro inside tulip. Reminds me of Holland. Looking back over my time in the US, I actually had a hell of a lot of fun. Living and racing in an English speaking country for the first time in like almost four years just, just really increased the fun factor. Being able to easily meet riders and make friends and go about daily business <laughs> in your primary language just made life so much better. When we first decided that we were gonna spend the season in North America, I was kind of apprehensive because I didn't really know what to expect. It was a big unknown. Getting out there, doing something different and racing different races and meeting new people and racing different teams and embracing a whole new culture was, was a really good change. So looking back, it's a change I'm super glad I made. I would go back and race down in California in a heartbeat. I'm not done racing in the US for the year. I'm doing a stage race down there again in a couple weeks, but 
I'm just really glad I went. It was also a new challenge, not knowing the races and being out of my depth in some areas was, was super cool. I think in one of my vlogs where I first announced that I was coming over to North America for the season, I said, change is always good. And I was nervous at the time, but it was true. The change was good. Oh.